Oh, hey, Sandra. Good guy, huh? Good evening and welcome to Friday evening. Hello. It's time to watch the sunset. And here's some raucous bird there. <laughs> I'm going to turn this to the uh, portrait view. And thank you, Mike, for joining and leaving. Welcome back. And hello to all the viewers in the future who are watching this. Welcome to all of you. Look at that sunset. Or it's sort of still hanging there above the ridge. Sandar is around here. You may have seen him at the very beginning of the scope. <laughs> He's, uh... Sandar is not all that keen on this uh, change in the weather and the weather getting cooler. <laughs> There's the whirly gig. The uh, wind is not as uh, intense as it was several hours ago although it's here comes another gust and hopefully uh hopefully my voice is loud and clear either that or i should just quit talking and just let the uh, ambient noises happen mountain and there's oh there's a cloud right over the mountain well it's kind of looks like it's between us and the mountain when the mountain oh look who's here well here he is there he is hello Xandar you're a big guy is that correct He's a good-looking cat. A good-looking cat, Sandra. Yeah. <clears throat> In any event, who's here? Hey, hi, Peter Pat. And so we're looking out out across the valley there, the Diablo Valley. Uh, and there's Mount Diablo off in the south there. So we're kind of, the top of the hill is sort of on this rim here on that side of it. Thank you. Thank you. It is a nice view indeed. And today is the day we're watching as it undoubtedly goes from into uh, the deep fall. What? What? There's, there goes Xander. What's up? Rao Rao. Yeah? How's your Rao Rao? You going to turn around and look at the camera? <laughs> there you go. So, hello, Xander. Xander, I'm trying to make you famous, man. You could become the next internet cat sensation. What's that? You're not interested in that? <laughs> what? Okay. I'm just teasing you. You don't have to be an internet sensation. You can just be the uh, the king of the top of the hill. That's fine. Cats, indeed. Hello. Welcome to you. There he goes. Marching along. Oh, he's got his eye in the in the rose garden right there.
Oh, well, welcome, uh, Frank, and, and thanks and for your first day on Periscope. And you stopped in on my scope. That's cool. All right. I'm going to settle down here and just train this camera on the sun as it sinks down. And uh, I will stop yakking for a bit while we watch that happen. Trying to, I hope it's uh, looking okay. There we go. That tree right there on the um, left is a plum tree. And then the tree on the right is an oak tree. And my dad grew that. That oak tree is about 56, 57 years old. My dad brought home an acorn to show me when I was a very little boy. And he planted it in a pot and it grew into a small tree. And then we lived in Panola then. And then when we moved here, he planted it out there. And now look at this tree. Cool, huh? Yeah, that is cool. Okay, I'm going to try and scroll up. Thank you. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, welcome. Yes. Take us on a tour of the garden. Okay. All right. I will. As we watch the sun go down. Uh, sure. Okay, so here we're in the back garden. We have the front garden, and this is the back garden. And um, there's looking back at the house. It's into the dining room. It's the back of the house. And then here we have, uh, we have some various plants going here. And of course, the whirly gig. Cats, yes. Or there is actually only one cat involved. Oh, look at all this. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know not exactly what kind of bird it is. The, um, the blue jays are really loud. The quail, there's a lot of bird around here. Quails, there goes Xandar again. Did not. Here we got some uh, wild strawberries. And in this... Uh, this, this thing here, we have some uh, parsley growing. So most of our harvest is in some roses. I think there's about 350 different kinds of roses here in the garden. There's two lemon trees here. That's one. And there's the other lemon tree. And that one is the... Uh, your lemon lemon tree, and that one is the Meyer lemon tree. Oh, here's Xander at the fish pond. He goes there and he's gonna get a drink. Xander gets the fish pond and he guards it. So, <clears throat> like, especially this time of year when it hasn't rained yet, there were a few drops of rain fell, but everything's really dry. And so the uh, animals are coveting the water here and the fish pond has goldfish in it they had to be I don't know if you can see them in there there you go Xander and that's just a yes that's just a sculpture of a hippopotamus head okay so here we have uh, one of our uh, enclosed uh, vegetable gardens. And this is all enclosed to keep the critters out. And uh, the uh, raised beds that my dad built, and they have wire mesh underneath. And as you can see, mo almost all the harvest is in now. So these are between, these are going into their winter mode, and then we'll be planting for uh, next season. Here we have another more roses. There we have some 
indeed. There's a lovely yellow rose right there. I wish you did too. And um, yeah, and then this soil is like, uh, you know, go, it's going on, it's 48 years worth of building the soil because there was, this was just like an empty hillside when we moved here first in 1972. And of course, it's nice to have a jacuzzi in the backyard. And it's also nice to have a pool with an eternal current. So you can pull this back. And there's the current. You turn on that current and you can adjust it. And a very good exercise swimming in that pool. Oh, there goes the sun. Let's watch it go down now. And there's that old tree again. Xander, what are you doing? back. Xandar, the Magnificent.
How did it turn around? Oh, it didn't turn around. <laughs> I'm seeing my reflection in the screen, and I thought somehow the screen had turned around, and it was just me <laughs> with the sun in my eyes. But it's not, that's not correct. You're actually seeing the sunset. It's one of those raucous crows. And there we see the sun has disappeared behind the ridge in the west. The northwest, I guess, this time of year. <sighs> Very nice. So, in any event, um, the wind's really been picking up. And I know it's uh, not conducive, really, for me to be trying to talk to y'all when you can't hear me on account of this big gusts of wind. So I'm going to sign off for now and I will be looking at the, uh, the replay and uh, reading all your chat comments and thanks everybody who uh, watched the scope and thanks again to everybody who's watching the replay of it. Um, and uh, I'm going to do more of this. I will, um, if all goes well, I'm going to uh, be back on in the morning, around 10 a.m. Pacific time, Saturday morning, uh, and do some reading, maybe. Show some more scenery, finish the tour, show you more uh, amazing things. Thank you all.